So right now we're in a forest on a 50 acre parcel that my parents own. Um, we're in a canvas tent that I purchased about a month ago now. I set it up with the idea to, to live in it. Right now I've got a house in the city where I've been living. I've lived in the city for probably five years now. I've had a house and then another house and I spend all my time, all my free time out here. The tent I'm living in is a 14 by 16 uh, canvas tent that I got from Canvas Tent Shop. I've got a, a wood stove that will heat this thing well down to minus 30 and uh, I'm sure beyond that it'd still be livable. It just wouldn't be that nice balmy 70 degrees. Um, right now I've got it set on a a high piece of land. Um, it's got a dirt floor but the plan is to build a deck instead of running deck board on it I'm gonna be running plywood, stain it, varnish it, throw some rugs down, get this thing up off the ground. I've got a window out the back, the doors both open, they've got clips on either side that they clip to so you can have an open porch I can get it up to 80 degrees in here in a matter of 10-20 minutes, which is really nice. There's a lot of dead ash trees around in our area because the emerald ash borer came through uh, years ago. So on this property, I've still got probably two or three cords of, of wood just in dead trees laying around. So I've got a chainsaw, I've been cutting those up. In the future, I do plan on buying cords of wood and hauling them back here, putting them in a wood shed. Um, I'm going to be putting running solar panels out the back where there's a there's a field out there. So I'm going to have a, probably a couple hundred watts of solar so I can run a, a freezer, fridge in here and charge devices like, like laptops and stuff like that. I want to be more in control and responsible for the life I live. If I, want, if I want electricity, I'll set up solar panels. If I want water, I have to go fetch it and I have to watch how much I'm using. I have to find better ways. So that's that's definitely a huge part of um, why I want to be out here, for sure, um, just to reduce my, my impact. To have the house and have this and that, all of a sudden you're, you're consuming a ton of stuff just to keep that going and I found for me a lot of those things aren't what I want like I wanna I wanna take care of myself more than rely on other people to to take care of me and have to continually keep that that ball rolling constantly you start to wonder why you need so much to to be happy and that's that's when I just started thinking, well, why don't I just do this all the time? Why don't I find that balance in my life that I'm comfortable with, um, things I'm comfortable with doing without, things that I want to have, I'll find a creative way to, to make it happen. And uh, so, I, yeah, that, so I'm here now. Right now, to store food that, that's perishable, I've got a, a cooler out the side and I've got ice packs and I'm fortunate enough that my parents have a house on the land and they've got an extra freezer so I've been swapping ice packs out of there every couple days and it's been keeping my food well. I just think ahead if I want to eat something that day or the next couple days I get the meat, I cook it right away and, and do that and for backup I can put it in the cooler if I want to extend the life of it. So the, the adjustment, food-wise, that was one of the, the things I was worried about. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do. And I just kind of came out here and started doing it and found that it's, it's not that inconvenient at all to just have a cooler for now. And there's a lot of good options for uh, freezers and fridges that run off of, they're made to run off solar. It is hunting season right now as well, so I've been fortunate enough to, you know, get some small game and uh, most of what I've eaten lately has been wild game, which has been awesome. Um, 
I was just up north and got some grouse. So I had one of those in the pot. Got a squirrel the other day. So if I can keep keep this rolling for a while, it it's cheap and it's it's about as healthy as you can eat. Oh yeah, it, it's it's such an amazing feel. Anyone who hunts or fishes knows, or gr has a garden even, you you have so much satisfaction out of um, harvesting your own food, whether that's with a gun or you know digging it up in your garden. It just it makes you feel good. You know where it came from. You know what it's been eating. And uh, there's 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 also a satisfaction there. It's kind of hard to define that you get out of it as well just the personal you feel independent you feel confident um, in yourself being able to take care of yourself that way <laughs> I'm gonna put a link to Clint's channel in the description below um, his channel is called Zold Outdoors I highly recommend checking it out you can already tell what kind of guy he is through this interview and um, just an asset to, to learn about this kind of stuff so I appreciate you guys watching. I thank you very much for letting me yeah, have this for coming. Yeah, for sure. We'll and uh, the beer. Yeah, thank you for the beer. Maybe we'll crack a couple <laughs> more daddy pops. That sounds good. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. But I don't actually have any more daddy pops. Okay, it's just a ruse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you do need a spittoon. I do. Like, you're I just do. for the nostalgia. I'll get one. I'll get one. Anybody got a spittoon out there? Let me know. Clint's in need. <laughs>